Hello and welcome to a tutorial on selective coloring in Photoshop CS5. Today we're going to select Smitty the cat here from the background and turn that background black and white leaving Smitty in his magnificent orange tabby color. Now to do that we're going to start out with a lasso tool. You can press L on your keyboard to get to that or you can come up over here to your tool palette and select lasso. And what we want to do is make a quick quick selection around Smitty. We don't have to be very careful. We're going to use the new refine edge tool in CS5. So we'll just start here with the lasso. And you want to stay on the outside of Smitty. And we're going to let the refine edge tool do all the work. It used to be so painstaking. And we'll just go around. Smitty is a 17 pound Maine Coon cat. Got the big toughy hair, the ears and the paws. Help them bound through the snow, I guess, while they're in Maine in the winter time. And we'll wrap up here. And now we've got a selection, and the marching ants show us what's been selected. Now we go up to the top here, and if in, when you're using any of the selection tools, you'll find this button up here once you've made a selection, Refine Edge. We're going to click that. And right now we're in the black and white mode. We'll view mode. We'll come up here and you can scroll through these different selections by pressing the F key. We want to get to the overlay selection. Now we're on overlay. And we're going to check our smart radius and crank the radius all the way up to 250. Or all the way, yes, up to 250. And this is going to help us find these nice fine edges of the hair here. You can see it's already done a pretty nice job of selecting out that rough edit I did. We'll smooth this a little bit. Um, we can feather it just a tiny bit. Let add a little contrast. I'm not going to shift the edge. I'm also going to want to decontaminate the colors on the fine hairs uh, and output here we're going to output to a new layer with mask, with layer mask. And you've got several options here to choose from. And you can see I had here remember settings so it remembered what I did last time. Now the great tool that comes along with this is the brush here, your refine radius tool. And we're going to just come in here and paint around the edges and you can use your left bracket and right bracket key to increase or decrease the size of your brush. And we're just going to come in here and paint around the hair here. on Smitty. Get these ear tufts here. It's done a really nice job along here, so we don't need to get too in control, out of control. And some of these dark areas in here we may have to come back in and touch up. But for the most part, this brush really does a fine job of pulling out the hair from the background. And when we're done, we just click up and see that it's done a very nice job. A couple areas in here that need a little bit more work. There we go. Got a little red in here. There we go. And you see down here we've got a little bit of touch up we'll have to do in the layer mask once we're done. So we hit OK. And the computer now is making a layer with a layer mask. And we go to the black and white mode here, which is if you option 
um, option click on it it shows the um, black and white and we can now come in with our brush hit B for brush on the keyboard or selection right here and we can paint black and white in and we can paint the black in I'm going to go back option click one more time and paint black in here which is hiding the area selected use my bracket key to make the brushes smaller Now really, that's about it. We're done here. Now, I'm going to turn the main background layer back on. And if we control click on the layer mask here, we're going to do add mask to selection, which is now adding Smitty to the selection. We want to turn the background black and white, so not Smitty, so we need to inverse our selection. So we come up here to select, inverse, and now we've got the background selected, the chair and the afghan. And we're going to come up and to our adjustment layer and click on our black and white adjustment layer. And it's turned everything black and white around Smitty. So there you have it. Uh, there's some cleanup work we can do right in here and in here. But for the most part, we've got Smitty the Cat in selective color. The rest is black and white. And you learned how to use selection tools, refine edge tool, and black and white layer masks, and adjustment layers, and there we go. I'm Danny Mack. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.